Hello! I was cleaning my bathroom last night and um, I realized that I don't really have a current bathroom um, cleaning video so I thought I would um, take one this morning and kind of show you all the products that I use for um, cleaning my bathroom, how I use them, and um, kind of like what that looks like and allow make sure you guys comment if you have questions on anything specific um i so how i start cleaning my bathroom is i always start with my mirror sink countertop and then uh, move into the shower clean the shower and then clean the toilet and well actually technically let me do this in order here so if i'm coming into my bathroom and i'm like gonna clean it I'm first going to take my Norwex bathroom cleaner and spray that in my toilet bowl. And this stuff is amazing. I There's no nasty smell. It's um, fairly, it's like jelly-ish, gel-ish. <laughs> and so it's great for, um, it's going to stick to the sides of your toilet bowl, but it's not, um, it's not going to stay up high. It's a great consistency to go down and um, it'll saturate all of your areas. And then, so I let that sit. While it's sitting, then I grab um, my, I have my Norwex. So I use the, this is called the MVP, the Multi Variety Pack. I think is what that stands for. Um, and so there's three cloths in this and they're mini cloths. So there's the body cloth. And again, they're all going to say what kind of cloth they are. So there's a mini body cloth. There's a mini enviro cloth. And then there's a mini window cloth. So, and you guys can maybe see all the, the different textures of all these if I try and hold it up. Can you see the different textures there? Um, so this is the window enviro body um, but this comes in a cute little pack like this and um, the so I usually use the body cloth um, so we have well I'm lying to you because currently our hand towel is one of the regular hand towels but usually I have a chenille hand towel in here to dry your hands and things which when I have that on there I don't want that to get all toothpastey and things so I usually have um, the body cloths in our toothpaste drawer and um, that's what we use to wipe the toothpaste from our mouth and then um, we just throw it back in the drawer and you don't have to worry about it so I use that and then I wash it like once a week um, up until this week I've only had one set of the MVP and um, it works totally fine. I wash the claws once a week. I use them pr usually, t some most of the time I use them once, <coughs> depending on how often I'm cleaning. So I guess um, I would say like two times probably is average to use them. And then um, I wash them. And the only reason I say this because cleaning your toilet with this and then using it like more than twice is like really disgusting in my head. But it, the, the claws are amazing. So I just have an issue with that. Um, so then, so what I do is then I get my Enviro cloth wet. So I have the toilet bowl cleaner in there, you know, cooking. And then I get my Enviro cloth wet with warm water to open up those um, microfibers. And then I wash my mirror. And then I take my window cloth, wash my, or dry it with that it's going to make it sparkly it's not going to leave any streaks it's great um then i usually just because it's easy i clean this window that is right here <laughs> um with this and then i follow it up with this and then i move to my sink which i continue to use um this enviro cloth just water um and i clean my sink and i kind of have things on it right now because i'm going to be showing you them um, so I clean my sink. I don't usually dry it with this. And then, um, then those things are done. And then when I, in between uses, like if this is getting, you know, grimy or whatever, all you do is you put it under water and you can use hot or cold. Um, usually you want to use hot to open up those fibers. And then when you're done with it, done with it, then you want to use the cold to release them. 
I release everything that's in them. So, um, and then you just squeegee it out and grab it and go. You kind of want to just scrub it together like this. And then that will, um, like kind of just clean it before, before you move it to the next little thing. So then after I'm done cleaning the window, the sink, um, I usually move over to the shower, which you can use these for the shower too, totally fine. But I do prefer my bathroom mitt. I have two bathroom mitts. Um, it, as you can see, this side is microfiber and soft. And this side is more um, scratchy, texturized, whatever. Um, and it does have a little thing to hang. So you can hang dry it. Um, it does say what it is. It says it's the scrub. Um, and it has, you honestly put your hand in, in there like that because it has like, it's sewn together right here. So it gives you a little bit of a grip, but you can fl easily flip your hand around while you're swiping and, um, and then like flip it around again if you need a little extra power. So how I, I usually use my all purpose cleaner that I make with my, um, bathroom mitt to clean my shower. So I spray my shower down. And then I usually spray this a little bit while I have it on my hand and then I just clean off the shower. We have ridiculously um, hard water and our um, thingy, whatever that's called, that makes your water softener, so, whatever. We need more salt in it right at this moment. So my um, shower is not sparkly white, but oh yay about rust or whatever that is. Is it rust, kelp buildup, whatever. Anyway, but that's, that was a total tangent, sorry. Um, so this is my all-purpose all cleaner. Um, it's just the Norwex laundry detergent, the um, powder form, and water. And you just put it, you wanna put it in a glass bottle if you're gonna like leave it in there because it will eat away at some of the plastic bottles. Um, if you leave it unsettled or unused or whatever for a while. Anyway, so these two are great together. You can also use this to spray on your bathroom sink. You can spray your toilet with it. You can do whatever you want. And I do. Sometimes I mix it up um, with this all-purpose cleaner. It's amazing. It's great. There in it, there's like no crazy smell. I think that's a thing that a lot of people struggle with is like the clean smell isn't here with Norwex because you're not, there's no chemicals. So it's, you're not smelling the chemicals that are killing everything. Um, I had a friend tell me that this week. <laughs> she likes all the products and everything, but I'm just missing that like clean smell, knowing it's clean. Um, like we laughed about it. So, um, so then after the shower, then I move on to the toilet because that has been, you know, soaking or whatever. So then I use my in, min, or my Enviro cloth and, and my window cloth for the toilet. And, um, you know, just getting this wet. All I usually use is water. Sometimes I use the all-purpose cleaner. And um, start from top to bottom. Get, clean it all. Um, the toilet seat, around the floor, everything. And then when I'm done with that, then I use... Da -da 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 -da! I love this thing. This is so... I This... I never thought I'd be so excited about a stupid toilet brush, but I love it. Um, so little things about this. It is, it's the Norwex toilet bowl brush. Um, it hangs in this. If you can see it like isn't touching the floor of that, which is great because then it is, um, it's not sitting in its own nastiness. Um, it is embedded with um, antibacterial agents which allows it to not smell or get gross. So I've had this thing, there's a hair on it, but I've had this thing f since March, I think. It still looks like brand new. I just, and we have the little knob here that is going to allow you to get under that toilet rim. Um, the bristles are like silicone and they're spaced a great distance apart. So you're not gonna get any um, anything stuck in them, build up, anything like that. This is amazing, I love this thing. Um, and it's, well, I think it's like $21 and it lasts a really long time. And yeah, so I use this and it scrubs great. Um, the silicone does really well. So it pairs amazing with the bathroom cleaner and it's, 
that's pretty much my, when I quick run through and clean the bathroom, that's what I do. I use my mop for the floor. I actually discovered, so we have, we need to redo our bathroom, but um, for a long time, our bathroom fan was not working. And so we would get a lot of like build up like under or on the ceiling because the ventilation here was just terrible. And so from when we we're taking showers and things, we'd get build up on the ceiling from the um, hot water, whatever. <laughs> and um, so I found out that you can take your mop and your wet mop pad and do your ceiling, clean your walls with it. And it's so fast. It's amazing. You should try it because that I learned that just a little while ago. And, um, and it was super efficient. It just comparing to me standing on the toilet, standing on the shower, like trying to reach all corners of the bathroom ceiling with my Enviro cloth, the mop worked so great. It took me like two seconds. So um, those are some of the products that I use to clean the bathroom. And um, I think that they're great. They're really great. <laughs> Ask me any questions, comment below. Thanks guys.